Hello everybody, welcome back to Tin Man Collections and today I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm um, reshooting a video. And when I'm being reshooting, I'm doing another like uh, review of one of my masks I already did. But the old video was too short and I didn't get everything in so I thought since I remember some things I'll go do it again. But it's on my uh, Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Resurrection mask. Now, I picked this, I remember now I picked this mask up off of Trick or Treat Studios' website. And nowadays uh, people don't do that because uh, it's not their fault, but sometimes Trick or Treat Studios puts masks in bags now. They don't put them in boxes, but I ordered mine back in 2014, Halloween of 2014. I was in ninth grade, and I wanted to be Mike Myers for Halloween. And I asked Mama, can I order this one? It was one of my favorite sculpts so far and uh, she said sure go ahead so I ordered it and it arrived in August I think it was in a box so it was on the back porch I said oh yippee the mask came in long did I know I should have measured my head <laughs> because I tried this sucker on right here I don't know if you can see where's that right, right in here turn right there you see that split? You barely see it, but anyway, right in there. It kind of split a little bit, but I said, hey, that's all right. I don't know what type of hair to use on this thing, but it's kind of a better quality, I would say, than like you buy something from like Ruby's or something and the hair just fall right out. This is a little bit better. I keep my all of my masks on um, styrofoam heads. Now, I know all of you guys go out there and say, no, don't put it on a styrofoam head. It'll stuck you know I took a precaution with that I just wrapped it with two layers of trash bags so luckily this thing ain't gonna get stuck to it I'm gonna try to put it on because uh, just to show you I'm just gonna let you guys go on a warning big-headed guys that have got like a 24 inch head like me you might want to seek an alternative because this is kind of snug I'm trying to get it on I almost got claustrophobic and it's sometimes a fight to get this thing on. Hold on. See what I mean? <laughs> it's a little snug to get on. I can barely see out of it, but I can. See? If you can hear my voice. I mean, it's a perfect sculpt and everything, but uh, I wish they made a deluxe version like uh, the one that Buster Rhymes wore in the movie. That would have been awesome to see. Yeah. Oh, Trick or Treat Studios. You guys need to make the uh, melted version of this. I would like to see that if you guys can. Yeah, how many of you? Leave me down in the comments uh, if you guys agree with me on that. It'll be like this mask, but melted. The hair's melted off and everything. I can move my mouth in here and everything, and it's just snug, you know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and take it off now because it's starting to get claustrophobic. Be right back. Alright. I can tell you, do not leave something that's claustrophobic on your face too long because whew, it'll get stuck to your head. Now, if you have a skinny face, then yes, it'll be perfect, but for somebody big as me, no. Uh, Alright, that's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on some post notifications. And I'm going to also redo the Trick or Treat Studios uh, Texas Chainsaw Mask with Leatherface Mask and the Halloween 1 and 2 masks. Because they were just way too short and I just wanted to, you know what I mean, make it longer for you guys to watch. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and... Stay tuned for more. Don't worry, we're going to have some more content coming.